Okay, we're doing a quick review um, on the back side of D on a fraction of a number. Step one for these, you're going to divide. Step two, you're going to multiply. What does fraction of a number look like? It looks like this, 7 ninths of 18. Okay, I'm going to prove to you why we divide first. So we're looking at 1e15, so 7 ninths of 18. First off, since this is a fraction, I can turn this into a fraction. How do I turn any number into a fraction? I can put it over 1 because 18 divided by 1 is still just 18. Remember a fraction? This symbol means division. Okay? Of in math means multiply. Well, so this is just a quick review of multiplying fractions. You just multiply straight across and you can cancel. So basically we can do 9 into 18 or 18 divided by 9 because we can say, okay, 9 that becomes a 1, 9 goes into 9 one time, and 9 goes into 18 two times. And then now we multiply 7 times 2 equals 14. And if we wanted to have a denominator, it would be over 1, because 1 times 1, and 14 divided by 1 is just 14. Basically, that just proves why we divide first and then we multiply. Look at 1e16. I'm going to do this one without turning 21 into a fraction. 2 thirds of 21. So you take your 3 and divide it into 21, or 21 divided by 3. So this becomes a 1, and 3 goes into 21 7 times, because 7 times 3 is 21. Then you multiply. So then 2 times 7 equals 14. Just so happens both of those answers came out to 14. Okay, now look at a word problem on 1D18. There were 100 jelly beans in the bag. Nathan ate two-fifths of them. How many jelly beans did he eat? Okay, Nathan ate two-fifths. So you need to know how to be able to write two-fifths in fraction. Two-fifths, two over five. He, he ate two-fifths of them. So that keyword of, we turn two-fifths into a number right here, and then the word of, two-fifths of them. What does them represent? Them represents the total jelly beans. Well, how many jelly beans did we have? 100. So, two-fifths of the 100 jelly beans. Okay, so how do we do this? We divide first. 5 into 100. So, 5, that's like a 1. 5 goes into 100 20 times. If you need to do it off to the side of long division, that's fine. 5 goes into 10 2 times, and then you have a 0. Okay, now you multiply. 2 times 20, and that equals 40, and then when you have a word problem, don't just leave it as 40. What does 40 represent? 40 represents the number of jelly beans, so 40 jelly beans. So having the word jelly beans is really important because you want to tell whoever what does 40 represent. 40 jelly beans, 40 dollars, 40 rocks, 40 candy bars, so here, 40 jelly beans. 